Welcome back. This is We Ride Motos, and I'm Glenn. And I'm Carrie. In this episode, we pack back up in the town of Borca, and we head back up over the Gardena Pass. And our destination for today is to get up and over the famous Stelvio Pass. Very excited. Yes. So today we backpacked or backpacked. <laughs> today we I'm gonna start again. Pepe's still there. We don't need a backpack. Yeah, no, Pepe's the backpack. <laughs> so we backtracked up over the Gardena Pass and we head back through Selva the Gardena where we were the other day. And it's just a it's just a great day for a ride. Like it it's, is. The 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 mists were just coming off. It was just beautiful. It you know, even though we covered the same road, it was just like you were in a whole new. Well, we're going the other direction, road. so it's yeah, you know it's it, it's like a whole new road because you're going the other way. But man, it was it was a great it was a great run. So in this episode, I, I put together a bunch of clips, and I think I think it's just easiest just to sit back and go for the ride. We always watch the weather um, quite closely so that we can skirt around any rain and that kind of thing. And, but today, you know, it was supposed to be a little bit of rain to start, but it... It, it wasn't. It was it, beautiful. It, wasn't. it was beautiful. Um, yeah. As we got closer to the beginning of the Stelvio Pass, it looked great. It was, it was sun shining and it was warm. So we decided just to do it. Um, I don't think we'd even booked a room. I think, ahead of time. No, I don't think so. I think so. we were winging it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that another time, how we do our rooms. But, so we decided, hey, let's do it today. It was the end of the day. Um, we thought, what a great way to kind of wrap up the day. So off we headed um, up the Stelvio Pass. As we got farther up the Stelvio, the weather got worse and the clouds got thicker. And before we knew it, our weather maps had lied to me. 
I think and it was starting to rain. I think there was even some thunder. Yeah, <laughs> and rain on the roads over here is not my friend. We just came up the Stelvio Pass. It started raining and it's nuts. It was actually really nuts. But Glenn did very well and we're here. How are you feeling? Stressed. <laughs> we're gonna grab- what you wanna do, 84 switchbacks in the rain. <laughs> we're gonna grab a coffee and uh, dry out and warm up and think about what we've done. Carrie asked me how I'm doing and my answer is I'm stressed. This is why this happened last year on a wet Italian road. Okay, this week's trip tip, I can yes. say it this time, <laughs> is uh, has to do with tires in the rain in Europe. So Based on the video that you saw earlier, you can see that uh, selection of tires does make a difference. And what we discovered was when you go in these areas and it's been hot and dry for a long period of time and they're all driving around in their little diesel cars, when it rains and in the morning we crashed, it barely rained, mm -hmm. it's just the, the roads become seriously quite treacherous. So what I've discovered is don't pick, or this is for me, but I'm not gonna pick tires with hard rubber. Um, I kind of had everything going against me on those ones. They were, uh, I'm not gonna say the brand, but you can comment and I'll maybe do it there. But hard rubber, long wearing tire, they were about five years old because, you know, we brought them with the bike in 2018. And uh, yeah, we had to swap them out. And that happened in Southern Italy and they had no rain all summer and it was in the late August, I believe that was. Yeah, so. Um, so that's what makes it. In my opinion now, the trip tip is a good soft rubber. Longevity is secondary. Uh, it gets on the gonna stick to the road. And when it rains, especially when it first rains, we've all heard it, absolutely slow down or park yeah. and give it a break. It's not quite so bad, I don't think, in the Dolomites um, when it rained because they do, get, you know... There's more rains, keeps the roads a yeah. little fresher, but... And they probably scrape them. Nonetheless, the I had a little PTSD going on yeah, about yeah. rain and roads. So yeah. anyway, that's for what it's worth. That's this week's trip tip. Okay, after we sat and warmed up, had a coffee. The Warm up, it was nice. Yeah. Should have had a beer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you had to navigate back down. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I was still driving, so yeah. no wobbly pops for me. Yeah. So um, the, the rain had let up by the time we finished our coffee and we decided to, to tackle the other side. Yeah, and you know, the north side where we came in was steep and lots of switchbacks. And then the other side, this sort of headed south, was some areas were switchbacks, but it was just a it was a different ride. It was long it was. stretches and yeah. fun. It was and beautiful. And again, it was just another man. The whole that whole pass was just fantastic to it ride was. on. So I'm it just was. gonna I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let the video run. 
And when we get to our destination, which is Bormio, we'll pick it up. Thanks for coming along. In the next video, we'll be riding past the famous Lake Como. Yeah, we were there last year and it was awesome. We loved it. And so this time we're gonna be coming in from the north instead of from the south. We're gonna do the other side of the lake that we yeah. didn't get to do last year. So we'll see you in the next episode. See you then. Are you coming? No. Goodbye.